Dr. Joseph Davidovitz and I advocate that the pyramid blocks are a superior form of concrete. This is a sample from the ascending passageway of the Great Pyramid. Some geologists have studied it and agree that it is man-made rock. The Great Pyramid was the greatest single undertaking in the whole history of mankind. And yet there is not one picture or drawing, not one artifact, not one inventory or tally sheet to tell of its construction. The Egyptians left us some 3,000 years of written and pictorial history covering virtually everything that happened in their culture from babies being born, to plowing and harvesting, building, weaving, sacrificing, praying, embalming, but nothing about the pyramids of Giza. Why? If the Egyptians did not build the Giza pyramid complex, who did? Well, there are experts who tell us recent discoveries on the planet Mars could possibly give us those answers. Richard Hoagland, a former consultant to NASA, did not discover the now famous face on Mars. But he is the prime force behind the Mars Mission, a private organization of international scientists whose findings have captured the world's imagination. A NASA Viking scientist, Dr. Tobias Owen, actually discovered the first of the monuments of Mars in 1976. A gigantic, mile-long, human-looking head lying in a northern Martian desert. In 1979, two NASA-contracted imaging analysts later discovered that there were two photos of the face taken at two different lighting angles by the Viking spacecraft, as well as a massive pyramidal structure close at hand, now known as the D&M Pyramid. Their findings were quickly dismissed by NASA as an optical illusion. But after years of fruitless debate, a member of our team, Dr. Mark Carlotto, decided to use a state-of-the-art 3D computer modeling technique which now strongly indicates that the face could in fact be a real three-dimensional human-looking sculpture lying on the Martian surface. A sculpture 1,500 feet high and over a mile long. I and my colleagues have found a number of additional anomalous structures at Sidonia and we have shown using the most modern computer imaging processing available that these Sidonia structures show clear evidence of being highly geometric. In simple terms, advanced civilization creates things. Things like buildings, cities, pyramids that are inescapably composed of repeating geometric patterns. And the face on Mars, its nearby pyramids, the entire Cydonia complex is simply brimming with this elegant repeating geometric structure. The fundamental mathematical relationships communicated by the structures at Cydonia are now eerily replicated in the Giza complex here on Earth including the very placement of the Sphinx. Even the key latitude of Giza, north of the equator, is now directly linked to the DNM pyramid latitude at Sidonia on Mars. That in itself is now the single most striking statement of intelligence on Mars that we have found. Hoagland and his team have gone even further. They've conducted detailed imaging analyses of the face on Mars. They compared it to the Sphinx and discovered that the two man-lion images located millions of space miles apart contain amazing visual and symbolic similarities. Our team's thinking is that that face is our face or what we once were. So in a sense, someday we may discover that we, in fact, were the Martians. That is why all of us are bringing so much pressure now to bear on NASA to specifically and exhaustively rephotograph the Sidonia complex on Mars. The thing that overwhelms me is the possibility that on some of those images of Sidonia we will find conclusive proof of a connection between the monuments of Mars and the monuments of Earth as represented by the pyramids at Giza. If that's true, then obviously all our history, this dim inkling of who we are and how we have come to be on this small planet, will be changed. The pyramids at Giza are truly a great mystery of the ages. Is it possible that they are a replication of the site at Sidonia on Mars? I mean, if there should prove to be a connection between the two, then who were the space-traveling builders? Is the city of Cairo related to Giza as the face pyramids complex is to Sidonia? 
Incidentally, Cairo is a Seleucid Arab word that means Mars.